how lucky are we that we are supposed to celebrate Sukkot outside. Such a special time to be with our families, to be with our friends, especially today, to be able to do it in a safe and healthy way. Chag Sameach. So great to be outside, to be surrounded by nature, to breathe in the fresh air, and to recognize that this is a time to celebrate everything around us, all of that joy. And I think that we've been hungry for it. We build this world with love from our Sukkot on the outside to the love we feel within for one another and our whole community. Ol ham chesed yibane, ya da 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 da. Ol ham chesed yibane, ya da 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 da. Ol ham chesed yibane, ya da 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 da. All ham chesed yibane, ya da 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 da. I will build this world from love, ya da 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 da. And you must build this world from love, ya da 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 da. And if we build this world from love, ya da 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 da. Then God will build this world from love, ya da 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 da. Ol ham chesed yibane, ya da 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 da. Ol ham chesed yibane, ya da 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 da. We all build up this world in our own ways. Each of our contributions are as unique as the Sukkot that we build on our houses. As you can see this year, our sukkah is a little bit different than what you might be used to. We decided to do a pop-up sukkah, a sukkah that is big enough to fit all of us virtually for sure. We are glad to welcome you to our sukkah. We are glad to celebrate Hechag, the festival, the season of our joy with you. And we begin with the traditional blessings for Sukkot. Surrounded by the decorated blessings of our temple families, Please join me in the blessing for dwelling in the sukkah from your own sukkot. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam Asher kidshanu bemitzvotav v'tzivanu leshev pasukah. Please join me in the blessing for the lulav and etrog. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Haolam. Asher kidshanu bemitzvotav v'tzivanu al netilat lulav. Amen. And as we dwell in our sukkah for the first time together on this sukkot, the Shehechianu. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Shehechianu v'kiemanu v'higianu l'hazman hazeh First of all, Sukkot is an indication that God really does have a sense of humor because God commands Jewish men to do carpentry right at the beginning of the year. Um, and so in my home, we would build Sukkot every year, but we would do it out of string and boat augers and vines, anything to avoid uh, driving a nail. So this year Sukkot actually hits home. We sort of understand what it's really all about. We are dwelling in frail booths, um, whether it be our sukkah, uh, which is made of boat augers and, and string, or our tent, which is barely put together uh, following the instructions. Why on this holiday do we dwell in these fragile structures? Yes, it is to remind us of our ancestors who wandered the desert. 
Yes, it is to remind us of our ancestors who, when they gleaned their fields, sometimes slept out in their fields in booths in order to start work early the next day. But really, it is a reminder from God that life itself is fragile. But it is also a reminder from God that God dwells in our fragile structures. God is with us in life. So no matter where we find ourselves, we know that we can always return to our one God. We sing the Shema together. I wake up each morning with love in my heart for the world and the people I know. I pray for the courage to be who I am and to make friends wherever I go. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Shema Yisrael. Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael. Adonai Eloheinu, Shema Yisrael. Adonai Echad. I wake up each morning with love in my heart for the world and the people I know. I pray for the courage to be who I am and to make friends wherever I go. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Echad, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Shema Yisrael. Adonai When we think of our song of freedom, Micha Mocha, we think of our ancestors crossing that sea and being filled with joy and celebration, so perfect for Sukkot. Because Sukkot, like all the festivals, has its own feeling, its own vibe, the music for Sukkot is also special. And so here is the official melody that you would hear on Sukkot to accompany Micha Mocha. Micha Mocha Ba'elim Adonai Micha Mocha Nehdar Ba'kodesh Norat Hilot Osefele Norat Hilot Osefele Shira Chadasha Shibehu Gehulim Vishim Chal Sefat Hayam Yachad Kulam Hodu Vechim Lichu Veyameru Adonai Imloch Leolam Vaed One of my favorite childhood memories is building and decorating our sukkah at my family's house and inviting our friends and family over to have meals and dessert in the sukkah. And really that's what Sukkot is all about, coming together and having those rituals and those traditions being passed on from generation to generation. And we see that here at our Temple Sukkah also, where families come, grandparents and grandchildren, and decorate our Sukkah and eat a cookie and shake the lulav and etrog. And really that's what this holiday is all about. Our tradition is one that is replete with memory. We always take those who came before us with us wherever we go. We bring them into our homes, we share meals with them, we bring them into our Sukkot. And so when we remember our ancestors, we should take pride in the fact that we bring them with us and we continue their traditions to this day. And that includes building and decorating and enjoying living in our Sukkot. Thought has blown the marketplace away 
There is a song on the wind and a joy in the trees. Succord has arrived in the world, scattering a song in the silence of the night, and eternity utters a day, and eternity utters a day. Yai dai dai, yai dai dai, yai dai 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 dai, yai dai dai, yai dai 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 dai, yai dai dai, yai dai dai, yai dai 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 dai, yai dai dai, yai dai 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 dai. Thought has blown the marketplace away. There is a song on the wind and a joy in the trees. So court has arrived in the world, scattering a song in the silence of the night, and eternity utters a day. And eternity utters a day. Yai dai 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 dai. Yai dai 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 dai. Yai dai 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 dai. Yai dai 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 dai. Yai dai 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 dai. Yai dai 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 dai. We are the Markle family. I am Laura. This is my husband Brian, and our children Reed, Seth, and Evan. So Sukkot is important to us as a family because it really just means family. It's something that we do together every year. Whether it's building it, decorating it, taking it down, eating in it, freezing in it, sweating in it, we do it all together. For us, Sukkot is almost like a time capsule because every year we unpack what has been put away for the year and that includes all of their decorations that they made in the ECC. We also take a picture in our sukkah while we're eating dinner um, every year. So we can see not only how we've grown, but how our family has grown. Evan wasn't in the first, um, first four pictures, three pictures. I, you know, when it comes to our children and Sukkot, for us, it's really important to build these memories and have that week that is set aside where they just remember growing in the sukkah. And one day when they're all at the University of Michigan and they come home for Sukkot and they bring all of their roommates home, I will feed them, I will cook for them, I will make it so special and then we'll make it bigger and we'll have grandchildren in it or we will come to their homes and help them put up their sukkahs. As we enter this moment of silent prayer, we take time to reflect still on the year that has passed and the people that we were and think about the year that has just begun and the people that we want to be.
words of Kohelet, son of David. For everything there is a season, a time for every experience under heaven, a time to be born and a time for dying, a time for planting and a time to uproot what is planted, a time to destroy and a time to heal, a time for tearing down and a time for building up, a time for crying and a time for laughing, a time for mourning and a time for dancing, a time for throwing stones and a time for gathering stones together, a time for embracing and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to discard, a time for silence and a time for speaking, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. This poem was written at a time of reflection, our scholars believe. King Solomon, son of David, the author of the Psalms, is thinking back on life and comes to the conclusion that there is nothing new under the sun. He has seen and experienced everything that was and everything that ever will be. King Solomon says, there is nothing new under the sun. I beg to differ, King Solomon. The year 2020 brought us something new under the sun, the novel coronavirus. It brought us quarantines and masks, food shortages, and a run on cleaning supplies. This new virus that has never been seen under the sun, at least in humans, has upended every aspect of our day-to-day -day lives. Tell me, King Solomon, when you said Hevel Havelim, Hakol Hevel, futility of futility, all is futile, did you truly believe that all that ever has been and ever will be you have seen? Yes, the sun rises and sets, rivers flow into the sea and are never full. The eye will never have its enough of seeing, the ear enough of hearing. These things which you said are all true. But tell me, King Solomon, did you ever consider what the word Havel really means when you used it? Many scholars believe that Havel is the vapor of breath on a cold day that quickly disappears. That is why sometimes Havel is translated as breath or wind. King Solomon, we are living at a time when our very breath can infect someone we love or a complete stranger with a virus. We are living at a time when Havel, when breath, is the exact thing that we are most afraid of. When breath, when attacked by coronavirus, is what we struggle with the most, and sometimes breath ceases completely. There have been other viruses, yes. A virus is not new under the sun. But this virus is, and here we are, King Solomon. You say later in Kohelet, the book most known as Ecclesiastes, that sometimes there is a new phenomenon of which we say, look, this is new. It occurred long since in ages that went by before us. The earlier ones are not remembered. So too those that will occur later will no more be remembered than those that will occur at the very end. Maybe you are right, King Solomon. Maybe generations from now we will forget the toilet paper shortages and the Zoom meetings. Maybe in a thousand years, our struggle with an invisible enemy will recede to the annals of history. But for now, we are far from your advice of simply eating and drinking and enjoying because everything is temporary and passes like breath. Right now, as we celebrate Sukkot, we are eating and drinking and enjoying from six feet apart and missing those who would normally fill our tables. On Sukkot, it is customary to fulfill the mitzvah of Ushbizin, inviting celestial guests. These are Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, Aaron, Joseph, and David. This year, as we sit in our Sukkot, most of our guests are celestial, or virtual, as we would say. We are zooming into each other's fragile dwellings. Grandparents are virtual guests in order to be safe. Families are setting up tables six or 12 feet apart to share a meal outside with friends who share their comfort level. This year, we are inviting not only the Ushbizin into our Sukkot, but virtually, we are also inviting all of those who are lonely or scared, all those who need to see the stars. King Solomon, I hope you do not mind, but I took the liberty of rewriting your famous reflection 
and a time for every purpose under heaven. It speaks a little more to what we are experiencing today. A time to fall ill and a time to recover. A time to refrain from going to school and a time to return to the classroom. A time to conquer misinformation and a time to educate ourselves with facts and science. A time for bending social distancing rules and a time to be even more strict. A time for crying over what and who we miss and a time to laugh at wearing pajamas to work. A time for mourning and a time for gratitude. A time for putting safety walls up around ourselves and a time to tear those walls down. A time will come again for embracing, but for now, virtual embraces. A time for working towards a vaccine and a time when all are vaccinated. A time to hold fast to our own beliefs and a time to come together as a country. A time for love and even more time for love. A time for healing and please God, a time for peace. Amen. Everything turn, turn, turn. There is a season, turn, turn, turn. And a time for every purpose under heaven. A time to be born, a time to die. A time to plant, a time to reap. A time to kill, a time to On this Chag HaSukkot, the festival of Sukkot, just like on all of our holidays, we remember those who came before us. We take them into our hearts as we honor them with the ancient words of Kaddish. Yitgadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah, be'alma divrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei, b'chayechon uv'yomechon v'chayei dochol b'yit Yisrael, ba'agala uv'izman kari v'imru amen. Yehe Shme Raba Mevorach Le Olam Le Olme Olmaya Yit Barach Vish Tabach Vit Paar Vit Roman Vit Nase Vit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shme de Kudisha Brihu Le Ela Min Kol Birchata Veshirata Tushbechata Venechemata Da Amiran Veal Mavi Imru Amen Yehe Shlama Raba Min Shemaya Vechayim alenu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'imru amen. Ose shalom bimromav, hu ya'ase shalom. Alenu ve'al kol Yisrael ve'imru amen. We pray that the source of peace sends peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved among us. Amen. We are so glad to have shared this first day of Sukkot with you and welcomed you to our Temple Israel Sukkah. And for those of you who entered our sukkah building contest, make sure to check your Temple Israel Facebook page after the service. Chag Sameach. Shabbat Shalom. Sukkot is a harvest holiday. The celebration lasts for seven days. We build our sukkah, then we decorate. A special booth in which we congregate. Do the lulav shake? 
Do the loo love shake, 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 shake. Do the loo love shake. Do the loo love shake. The symbols of Sukkot are quite unique. They show God's presence the entire week. The etrog smell, it gets into the air. We wave the lulav everywhere. Do the lulav shake, 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 shake. Do the lulav shake, 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 shake. Do the lulav shake, 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 shake. Do the lulav shake, let me hear you sing. Do the lulav shake, 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 shake. Do the lulav shake. Shake, 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 do the loo love shake, 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 do the loo love shake.